Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat pagi uh, Terima kasih kepada semua rakan media yang hadir um, I have um, Very short time sebenarnya Only about 10 minutes before I have to rush to um, The first cabinet meeting So I can't blame the media if I'm late for the first cabinet meeting kan uh, So kita bersama dengan uh, pimpinan kanan daripada EPU, daripada uh, Jabatan Statistik, daripada unit kerjasama awam swasta. Um, I, I, we give this opportunity kepada rakan media um, supaya in exchange for taking photos for the clocking in. Uh, so... Alhamdulillah, I mean, I started semalam sebenarnya um, kerana kebetulan semalam ada mesyuarat peringkat menteri um, bagi negara-negara keluar pengeluar minyak OPEC. So, OPEC sits down um, regularly to set the production quota. So, that had to happen last night. So, um, saya ambil uh, peluang untuk ucap terima kasih kepada semua pengurusan uh, EPU yang menjadi sekretariat yang memudahkan uh, dan juga wakil-wakil Petronas malam. So this morning was um, a continuation of yesterday. So everything is good, well. Uh, it is daunting but uh, insyaAllah I think if you take it step by step um, hopefully um, We'll see better days ahead. So rather than uh, you listen to me, kalau ada very quick questions given the constraint of time. Sebab itu bila tadi kepimpinan EPU telah beri taklimat awal mengenai perancangan. Um, sebenarnya um, masalah itu sudah sedia diketahui I think there's, there's a strong correlation between um, what I felt as an outsider previously But what needs to be focused um, with what is in planning And Maksudnya um, ada kesinambungan yang baik dari segi tumpuan untuk um, um, industri-industri ataupun kegiatan ekonomi yang boleh melonjakkan kepada negara berpendapatan tinggi. You know, this 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 the full focus to get to get us out of middle income trap. There's a lot of focus on um, um, less Um, endowed um, states contohnya kan negeri-negeri yang buat masa sekarang ini uh, tidak uh, mengalami pertumbuhan yang baik negeri-negeri yang lebih ramai orang miskin there's a strong focus on uh, the most vulnerable um, groups in society economically you know tentang program uh, pembasmian tegar dan sebagainya There's a strong focus on SDG and tech and knowledge economy. You know? So I think looking at what the plan is, um, I, I do have the comfort that um, the civil servants are trying their best and have covered all the necessary areas. You know, What we need to make sure is that There is a strong cohesion daripada the top leadership of the government all the way down to make sure that what is being planned actually is carried out properly and the message is being communicated well uh, to put everyone on the right track and then I think we can have the momentum so that the country can focus on building the economy rather than all the other, you know, too much politics. Uh, Why are you proposing to have a uh, change in the control of the supply? And yes, like what kind of changes are you doing? Uh, I think that's premature. I think 
it's very premature for me to say anything about any policy now. Uh, you know, so um, after all, it's my first hour officially in office. Man. Uh, so let us go through everything with um, um, you know the leadership of uh, ministry. Let us go through at the um, cabinet. And then um, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be able to decide um, with more information um, maybe in the weeks and months ahead. But I think it's too, too, too premature now. We've, we've, we've gone through it, but I think it's at a very macro level. As I say, it's very premature now to say anything. But I think we're going through the process anyway because... Um, um, the government will table um, emoluments budget, I think, uh, in the next sitting. And then the full budget will be tabled maybe in a matter of one or two months after that. I, I can only take another one, uh, otherwise um, I'll be late for my first. Uh, so I don't, so yeah. Basically, why be the only difference that you are bringing to the table at this current juncture will be the, your promise for the implementation of whatever policy? No, 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 I, I, I don't say that. I, I think, you know... Um, in the first hour of you know catching up, um, I take comfort that I think um, what EPU is looking at now is very much correlated with what exactly matters economically out there. Of course, you know as we go through in more details in the next one or two months. Um, obviously, there'll be tweaks here and there. There'll be different approaches, can. Uh, but I don't see any major um, um, omission, for example. So that means that in terms of the focus, in terms of the areas, in terms of, it is more or less correlated with what I think the country should be focusing. But of course, you know, there are different layers. As you go through the projects one by one, as you go through the coordination, then hopefully we can see what we can do differently uh, to get better results. Uh, sir, will yeah. you keep your promise to go after that three other parties? Um, I don't think uh, that's exactly what I say. And I think um, it makes political sound or, you know, news bites. But um, what I meant was that, you know, um, should the new government uh, uh, takes over and we have, um, the priority is to really make everything independent and makes everything by the law. So it's not just as a Baki or anyone or even myself. You know, we really have to be careful about what we do because once, hopefully, as we make sure there's no interference and all the institutions are independent and the check and balances work, then you know everyone should really stay on the right course. Can okay. the um, the law will take care of itself once we have independence, uh, full independence, um, and that's a reminder uh, to everyone. Uh, uh, last, 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 last. Um. Mm. Mm. I think it's an extraordinary circumstance. Um, ideally, yes. Kalau ikut pandangan saya secara idealnya. Um, uh, kita pisahkan jawatan Menteri Kewangan dengan jawatan Perdana Menteri Dan pendirian itu tidak berubah Saya tak tak berpendapat bahawa um, hanya kerana keadaannya sekarang ini uh, mendesak uh, Dan kita kena ambil pendirian itu, itu tidak bermakna bahawa itu perlu diteruskan I think as best, but the, the the situation is extraordinary. Kita berada dalam keadaan yang tidak ada mana-mana parti yang boleh membentuk kerajaan dan perlu bergabung. Kan? Pada masa yang sama juga, kita perlukan uh, kepimpinan ekonomi yang kuat uh, dan um, menjadi uh, teras kepada program kerajaan. 
Jadi pada pandangan saya Itu satu keputusan yang sangat sukar Yang telah diambil sebenarnya Kerana bila kita ada Gabungan-gabungan yang masing-masing Membentuk kerajaan Sudah tentu setiap komponen Mahu jawatan Menteri Kewangan itu Berada di pihak mereka Jadi kalau contohnya Ada orang daripada PH yang jadi Menteri Kewangan pun Itu akan ada masalah kepada BN Kalau daripada BN ada masalah kepada PH Dan GPS dan lain-lain Oleh kerana it's an extra do, extraordinary situation now Maka keputusan itu bagi saya sesuai buat masa sekarang Iaitu senang Perdana Menteri yang jadi Menteri Kewangan Supaya dia tak timbul isu tentang gabungan yang berbeza But I hope as we move forward And as we put everything in place Then um, certainly the situation now is an exception Not an Okay? okay, I really have to go. Okay, I, uh, okay. Otherwise, nanti kau jawab dengan Wayne Ray, mana? Yeah? Okay, okay. All right, thank you very much. I got to rush. Well, we'll, we'll definitely meet again. Okay.